Hi, Elena. Good Hi. to be here with you. Thank you. You here, too. Here today, checking out Unbreakable, Elena's book. Unbelievable read. Really enjoyed reading it. Thank you. What made you want to write the book? Well, I think for me, um, obviously, I had a lot to say um, with my story. So it was um, just about being, I think, ready to talk about it, which I felt like I was in the last couple of years. Um, and yeah, it was always kind of um, a, a bit of a goal of mine. I've had office through the years and, and I thought about writing a book for a few years now. And, and I don't know, in the, in the last um, 12 months or so since we started the whole project, it really was um, something that I, that I wanted to do. And uh, I really wanted to obviously tell my story um, for a lot of reasons. But um, I think one of the biggest reasons is that I think that my story can really help um, a, a lot of people. And um, I, you know, had a real um, passion of being really open and honest about everything because um, not a lot of people have spoken out about different things that I talk about in the book. So for me, yeah, it, uh, the book was important for, for a lot of reasons, but also, um, you know, I feel like I really got a lot off my chest um, yeah. now um, after so many years and uh, yeah, a lot of reasons um, for why I did it and just felt really good to do it in the last year or so. So I was chatting with you earlier when we had coffee about how brave you were to do it and how much from the tennis community that we really appreciate that mm -hmm. you were able to do it. So that's firstly one thing that I wanted to say to you. Thanks. I want to chat to you about one of the chapters in here about t different types of coaches. Lots of great chapters in this book, by the way. You learn a lot about hey, Elena's work ethic and what she experiences as a player. Great for players, coaches, support teams. Um, what did you find was really important in a great coach? What did you need? Well, I think everyone's different, obviously. For me, I wanted someone that would obviously be a coach and help you with your game, but also I wanted to have um, a really good relationship with that person. Mm -hmm. And uh, that, that would be, I think the biggest thing for me was loyalty, yeah. um, that I wanted someone just to be there f for me as a person, that we'd, we would work, work together as a team. Mm -hmm. um, you know, the tour is very, you know, um, can be lonely at times, yeah. especially if you're if you're young and, and you're a girl. I was on the tour when I was, I got on the tour when I was 14 which is very young so um, it can be very difficult at times it's a long year we, we play for 10 months of the year um, obviously the off season is quite short as well so it can be very difficult at times and I think it's important to have that person um, not just from a perspective of having a coach for your tennis but for me it was very important to have someone you know who I can really be friends with and who I can yeah. share certain things with and and just you know have really good communication Two coaches that I know that you worked with, Leslie Bowery mm -hmm. and Louise Plumbing, both mm -hmm. female coaches. Mm -hmm. There aren't a lot of female coaches no. on the tour or in the world. Mm -hmm. What things do female coaches bring to the table that you enjoyed as having them in that role as a coach? Well, yeah, I mainly had men's coaches um, and I actually quite enjoyed having um, a women's coach, but it was never kind of... Um, an option really because there's, there's not a lot of them out there and also I think we're just kind of used to having men's coaches and, and really just considering them but for me you know I felt um, not that I have anything again against men's coaches but I, I, they bring something else to the table I think yeah. um, I really like the communication that I have you know with some of my, my women's coaches and I just found I had um, you know that kind of maybe different relationship yeah. um, that really kind of worked for me you know and I think um, there's a lot of um, women's coaches out there or, or, or players um, or ex-players that I think can, can do a great job um, mm -hmm. on all levels whether that's on the tour or, or, or with kids but there aren't many out there and I think once I kind of started to even search for some women's coaches there weren't many which is unfortunate so <laughs> there's not too yeah, many out there no there's not too many out there so it's something that would be you know be really nice to see and I think it was great for Emily obviously to coach Andy yeah, uh, Murray and she kind of a little bit started that trend so I think we've still got a, a long way to go um, but it'd be great to, to see some more women on the tour. What attributes do you see that set champions apart from the rest? Well I think what I 
um, learned very early on, um, as unfortunate as my story has been with my father, obviously, is I think the hard work and the yep. discipline. Um, I think if you can kind of have that from very early on, already in your, I think, junior days, um, I think it's obviously very important to work hard, very important to be disciplined and have that very early on. But for me, I think the love of the game, really. Um, I'm one of those people that really loves tennis. I always have. Yeah. So I think that's, you know, one of the really important things. You've got to go out there and enjoy it. But enjoy the hard work. Yes, it can be tough. Yeah. But um, if you love it, I think, um, I think the results will, will come. Yeah. So this is a fantastic book for everybody out there. I've actually read it, so I can tell you, I can vouch for the fact, uh, I remember some of the stories that were in the book when we were young, similar age group. You're in 1983, Three. and I'm born in 1982, aging us a little bit, no. <laughs> but I remember some of the stories, it was really interesting to listen to, the, to Yelena's experience from the person, not just watching from the outside. And, I highly recommend it to everybody. Where can we find this book and where can we find more about what appearances you're doing mm -hmm. and speaking, etc.? So my Instagram account, I just started it a few months ago, so it's new to me. It's but amazing, you're amazing yeah, social thank media you. girl. So um, I'm working hard on that, but um, yeah, Instagram, I'm only on Instagram, I'm not on anything else, even okay. though there are some Facebook profiles out there, but they're not mine. So, I wondered that actually, yeah. I had seen them floating Yeah, around. there was one which I'm trying to close down because I don't use it, but they're not, Okay. yeah, they're not mine. So um, uh, you can get all the information on Instagram. I post a lot about the book. Also, if you go to Penguin, um, which is my publisher, so penguin.com, .au, I think it is. Um, you can find all the information on my book, events, where you can order. Um, we're going now to the UK, US and the rest of the world. Um, also, it's getting translated into um, a few languages as oh, well. Awesome. Yeah, so from Russian to a lot of other ones. So all the information is on, on the Penguin web website and where you can buy the book or order it. Book Depository is the really big one. They ship also for free to everyone around the world. Oh, really? Yeah, so that's um, a really good one. And um, yeah, you, but any other information, it's all on my Instagram, yeah. This is a fantastic book. What's your Instagram? What's your at? Um, it's Dokic, lowercase, Yelena. Okay. Laura. But just Yelena Dokic and it comes up. Check so. it out, she's yeah. an unbelievable, on top of the Instagram, great book, great catching up with you. Loved having coffee, it's been a few years. Yeah. But thanks for chatting yeah, to us about your you. journey. Yeah, thank you, yep. Thanks so much.